This is the problem from the Purple Comet Map Meet 2014. To solve the equation of the sum of reciprocals of 2 factorial times 9 factorial, 3 factorial times 8 factorial, 4 factorial times 7 factorial, 5 factorial times 6 factorial equals n over 10 factorial. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Before I solve the equation, let me share with you two facts that I'm going to use in this problem. So the first one is to make use of the binomial theorem. Notice that if we expand 1 plus x all whole to the power n, then we can express that as the sum of some binomial coefficients, like um, n choose n minus 1 or n choose 1, multiplying by powers of x. Now in particular, when x is equal to 1, so I can replace x on both sides by 1, the left hand side will become 1 plus 1 the whole to the power n, which means 2 to the n, and that's equal to n choose n times 1 to the n, which is 1, plus n choose n minus 1, adding all the way down to n choose 1 plus n choose 0. So that means the sum of all these binomial coefficients is equal to exactly 2 to the n. That's the first fact we are going to use. The second one is that we are able to change one of the entries in the binomial coefficient. So n choose r is actually equal to n choose n minus r. For example, the number of ways to choose 6 objects from 10, which is 10c6, is exactly the same as picking 4 of them and we declare them to be the, the items that we do not choose. So which means it's equal to 10 choose 4. So these are the two tools that we're going to use to solve this equation. Now back to the main problem. The key to solve this equation is to notice that the entries and the denominators, say 2 pairing with 9, 3 with 8, 4 with 7, and 5 with 6, they have sum to be 11. So if we multiply both sides by 11 factorial, so we replace the numerator with 11 factorial, and multiplying the right hand side by 11 factorial, say, like this, and we add an extra 1 factorial at the bottom. Now then, we have obtained a number of binomial coefficients, these four at the left hand side, and ignoring the n and right hand side, this is also binomial coefficient. And using the second hint we have introduced um, at the beginning of this uh, video, we can rewrite them as binomial coefficients in two ways. For the left hand side, we have 11 choose 2, or in other words, 11 choose 9. The second one, 11 choose 3, or 11 choose 8. The, fourth, the third term, 11 choose 4, or 11 choose 7. And the last term, 11 choose 5, or 11 choose 6. Now from the right hand side, we will have 11 choose 1, or 11 choose 10. If we further multiply both sides by 2, so like this, 2, and this as well, then we have all these added together. And this thing multiplied by n. Now for the left side, we've actually gathered almost all the binomial coefficients under 11. As in, binomial coefficients of the form 11 choose r. Everything except 
11 choose 1, 11 choose 10, 11 choose 0, and 11 choose 11. So we add them on both sides. So now we'll have These terms at the left hand side, the sum of all binomial coefficients of the form 11CR, and the three dots actually represents exactly these eight terms. And for the right hand side, then we will now have n times 11 choose 1 plus 11 choose 10 plus the remaining four terms. Now the wonderful thing is these terms are actually very easy to compute. You can even do this by in intuition. The number of ways to choose zero things items from 11 of them is just one which is just to not choose them at all. The number of ways to choose one item among 11 of them is just picking one at a time, so there's exactly 11. So that means the right hand side is n times 11 plus 11 plus the double of that, which is um, not double of that, but um, double of 1 plus 11 times 2. And for left hand side, recall from our first two derived from the binomial theorem is that the sum of these binomial coefficients is exactly 2 to the power 11. Now, it becomes much easier to solve. So left hand side is uh, 2048 equals 22n plus 24. And solving, we will have n equals 92. And that's our final answer.